In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create YouTube channel art right inside of Adobe Photoshop. So let's get into it. To make life easy for you, I've made a guide and uploaded it to my website. So if you go to brookerfilms.com, the link will be in the description below. You can find this YouTube channel art guide and there's a PSD and there's also a JPEG version of this for you to download. It's completely free. Don't worry about that. I'm not asking for anything. Just go ahead, download that. And once you've got the PSD or the JPEG version, you just want to open up Adobe Photoshop. So we'll double click on the PSD and that's going to load up this guide. So as you can see, we've got TV, desktop max, tablet and mobile and desktop minimum. So essentially, if you're going for your desktop header, you want to fill this middle section. If you're viewing your YouTube channel on a TV, then you want to make sure you've got a design that fits this entire composition. But essentially your desktop or your tablet or even the mobile is going to be your primary focus here. So we'll just turn off those two guides for now. We'll just padlock those to make sure we can't affect them. And I'm just going to go over to the T icon, select T, select anywhere on here and just type out your channel name. So we'll do Brooker Films, we'll increase the size of this to 30 and we'll drag this into the middle. Now we'll go back to T and we'll type out some sort of tagline or some other text or a URL. So let's do youtube.com slash Brooker Films and we'll decrease the size to 12 and we'll throw that underneath Brooker Films and put that in the middle. Now from here, you can go ahead and you can add some images. So I'm just gonna drop this image of me holding the camera on to the header, we'll decrease the size of this. Just gonna pop this over here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to change the color of the background. So in order to do that, we'll just go layer, new layer, press okay. We're going to go ahead and we're going to find the gradient tool. So this is this rectangle with this gradient in the middle. Select this color here and we're going to select two ends of the gradient. So we're going to select this first box. We'll make this orange. Then we'll go to the second box and we'll make this a uh, pinky color. Press OK, press OK on that. We'll zoom back out and just drag across your composition. So you can see we've got this really nice gradient on top of our background. Of course, though, we are going to have to change the color of the text from white to black because it doesn't really pop with the white on this colored background. So we'll just select the text. We'll change this to black. We'll do the same with the URL. We'll change this from white to black. Now from here, you can go ahead and add all of the text, add all of the images, add all of the assets that you want into this. Just use these guides as a reference to help you create your YouTube banner. And now once you're ready to export this into a JPEG, you just want to go ahead and turn off the guide layer. So at the top, you'll see guides turn off. We'll just press the eyeball icon and that's going to turn that off. If for some reason you can see the blue gradient background, then you can just turn that off as well. And now from here, we'll go file, save as format can be JPEG. You can rename this if you want to rename this. And then you just want to go ahead, select save, make sure the quality is 12. So that is maximum quality. Press okay. And there you go. You've got yourself an amazing header. So all that's left to do now is to go onto YouTube, go onto your channel. Then from here, you want to hover over your current channel art and you'll see this camera in this little circle icon appear in the top right. Select that. That will take you to a new page in the YouTube studio. And this is where you can go ahead and you can upload that JPEG image that we just created in Photoshop. So you've got profile picture, banner image, video watermark. We'll change the banner image. So we'll select change. You want to go ahead and you want to find that JPEG. So channel art, double select that. And there you go. All you have to do now is just press done and that's going to save that as your YouTube channel art. And as you can see, YouTube has given you these guides and their guides match up to the guides that we had in Photoshop. And there you go. Once you've uploaded that, all you have to do is press done and you've got yourself a brand new YouTube channel banner. Thank you for watching this video. I really appreciate your support and I will see you on the next video. See you there.